sometimes we're reading a book and we go through the page and you realize I don't remember anything I just read and that's because you were mind wandering. It looks like you're in a science fiction movie. <laughs> we're asking people to use their brains in a way they have never used it before. This type of brain computer interface interaction is more of a brain exercise that can improve your attention over time. For brain printing, it requires a lot of concentration. That concept actually started a few years ago for ALS patients. So we started thinking like, okay, how can we expand this brain painting work to the immersive aspect where people can create abstract paintings with their brains in a virtual reality environment? Art paintings is supposed to elicit positive emotions. So we were wondering what if once people are creating their own paintings, they're also living inside their own paintings while they're creating it. When I go to conferences and have done demos on my other projects of brain-controlled drones or even virtual simulations on controlling virtual drones with the brain, adults with ADHDs or even teenagers have tried the technology and they always come to me and ask me where they can buy the technology and to practice, pretty much train their attention over time instead of just taking drugs. So that's why we started working on how can we make brain painting a tool where those with ADHD can train their attention over time while doing something creative.